All right. Um, well, it's good to be back at home uh, again after two road games. Um, two really big games for us, obviously, this week, um, hosting Kansas State and hosting in-state rival Drake, who just beat Iowa State this week. Um, but Kansas State, you know, kind of gives us some bad memories from last year. We had the one-point loss at their place. Uh, um, it was a situation where, you know, we had a lead and uh, we kind of let it escape us, and they got to the free throw line a lot with that. So um, we're, we're anxious to play them again. Um, but it is a, a very good team, obviously. And, you know, last year, Ayoka Lee was out with um, – an injury, a knee injury, and so she's back, and that makes a big difference for this team. I mean, she's almost six seven. Um, she's a, a you know probably the, the one of the tallest posts that we'll go against all year long, and uh, we have to be ready for her. And uh, they also have some decent three point shooters that you know open things up for her. So um, Kansas State, good team, receiving both votes in both polls, and we know we'll have a battle on our hands. Sydney, what's with your rebounding right now? You're leading the team in rebounding. You had 14 against Virginia Tech. Uh, what's, uh, you know, have you been such a, such a monster on the boards? Yeah, I mean, I think that was really an emphasis this year. And with McKenna and Monica leaving, I knew that was going to be really important um, within my role. So I just want to take advantage of that whenever I'm on the floor. And I just think rebounding is just a, a lot about hustle. Just get in, get after it. Um, so. You have a player like Kaylin, and even if you didn't, how <laughs> important is it extending those possessions with offensive rebounds and getting her the ball back and being able to, you know, operate that way? Yeah, I think we always talk about um, extra possessions and getting offensive rebounds is the way to do that. And Kaylin's going to take a lot of shots, and I think we all know a lot of them go in. Um, but the off chance that it doesn't. Um, I want to be there to get the rebound and have an extra chance to get another two or three point shot. What do you guys remember about the Kansas State game? Kyle, obviously you didn't get to play last year, but what do you guys remember about last year's Kansas State game? Um, I remember they had some good, really good guards. Um, Gabby Gregory, she's really phenomenal. Um, so I think that'll be really important for us to shut her down um, this year. She drew a lot of fouls on us last year. Um, so I think make sure we get after it defensively and be careful um, fouling wise. But I think, like Coach said, Ioka Lee, um, she's a great post. And guarding her and getting box outs, rebounds is really important for this game. Kylie, how much comfortable do you feel even you know, three games ago just coming back and getting in the flow of things? Yeah, I think going back into it, I mean, you kind of—it's like a work in progress. You kind of have to get in the flow of things and get comfortable again. But um, I'd, I'd say even just within the past three games, I've just felt more and more comfortable and um, just kind of knowing what I need to do in whatever game. And um, I mean, it feels good to be back on the floor. But obviously, like I said, it's a work in progress. But how did that feel there at Virginia Tech that one quarter yeah. where you just sort of took over? For yeah, um, it's one of those where I think I kind of like black out. Like I just like I'm in the zone kind of. So like I, I don't remember it too much, um, but it felt really good. I think looking back at it, um, it was nice to know that like I kind of was able to come back from where I kind of left. Um, but yeah, it was just a really exciting game, and um, I was happy to do whatever I needed to um, with our team. And we had some people in foul trouble, so just being able to kind of maximize on whatever they're when they were able to be on the floor. Did you have a sense of confidence, like I am back? Yeah, I think when Coach Booter called like one of the like the, one of our plays, um, and then when she called it again, like that was kind of like when I got like that momentum, and um, after that kind of and one foul, that was kind of when I started to feel really into the flow of things. Sydney, we've talked about um, you know the the November stretch that you guys have and how it's tough, and you you guys have really jumped right into it. How much has that <coughs> helped keep everybody locked in? On top of you know what you guys already have as expectations, just the fact that you know it, it seems like it's one good team after another here to start. Yeah, I think we have a, a long stretch coming up, a lot of tough games um, with Kansas State Thursday and Drake Sunday. They're both really great teams, and I just think we always talk about um, taking it one game at a time. We're not looking at like the end destination. We're um, working on the journey and the process, and I think that's really important for us. Um, after one game, we move on, win or lose. Um, we got to move on to the next game. 
So that, what, do you, what do you think about when there's when there's you guys are on offense and you're and you're sort of roaming around and everything, and then all of a sudden the shot goes up. What what's your first instinct? Go Rebound. Get Go get it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think that I'm going to be the first one to the ball every single time, and I think having that mentality helps a lot with rebounding. Um, I don't think anyone else is going to get it but me. So. Were you noted, noted yeah. as a rebounder in high school? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Obviously, you aren't, you aren't thinking about your rebounds during the game, like how many do I have, but, but did you know you were in double digits, or was it after the game you are like, oh, wow, I had 14 rebounds? It was after the game. I'm just trying to focus on getting the ball and get – Possessions, especially with like Kitley on Virginia Tech, she's big center. Um, so I knew getting rebounds against her was really important. So you've gone against Kitley. You'll go against Holmes later. Uh, you got Lee. How, how does she rank? Um, you know, but I mean, how does she fit among the the best posts you're going to see all year? Well, I haven't gotten to play against her yet, but just watching film, she's a six six post. She's really big, and she's I think she was a might have been an All-American the year before. Um, but I think they're all really great posts. And with that, sometimes we play a little bit smaller with Hannah at the five, and it's really important for all of us to focus on rebounding because we don't have that height sometimes. Does she remind you of anybody late? Um, she's kind of a big, strong. <laughs> How do you put that in writing, Susan? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm excited to play against her. I'm, she wasn't there last year with an ACL injury, so it'll be fun. Kylie, as a, as a guard, for, for you guys' this entire group, I know you're not going to be down in the post with her, but, but what can you guys do to kind of help out throughout the game on the yeah, um, I think with our game plan, our coaches do a great job at kind of scouting and knowing when when we need to do things. Um, so, I mean, kind of getting into the post whenever we need to, like helping on her. Um, I mean, like we said, they have great guards, though, so kind of being strategic about all of that. But um, being able to help in is going to be crucial whenever we can. Do you look at their guards as being sort of interchangeable? I mean, they, they've got a number of kids that can do a lot of things. Um, it, but Gabby Gregory, I know, was mentioned. Um, anybody in particular that you really got to kick off the three-point line? Yeah, their uh, point guard is a really quick driver. Um, she can shoot as well. She's really athletic. Um, and they also play a ton of people. So um, that just shows kind of their depth in their guard area specifically. And um, yeah, I think they all can do a little bit of everything. Gregory's. Um, like I, like you said, a great player. She's going to do a lot for them, but they definitely have a lot of weapons. Thanks, Kylie. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. There's been obviously Molly and Sharon have started in that last spot. Is that something you see kind of continuing through this year? That fifth starter is just going to maybe be matchup or just opponent based or, or are you looking to find somebody to kind of lock down that spot? Um, I, you know, usually I've been somebody that really locks down a spot, but I don't think this is a team that will need to do that or has to do that. I think they're mature enough that we can move that around depending on the matchup that we're playing. You mentioned that you guys are kind of anxious to play Kansas State again. Are you the type of coach that, you know, brings up the loss last year as an extra motivating factor? Is that kind of just on the players to do that themselves? You know, I, I, I will bring it up. I don't dwell on it, though. I don't hammer it, hammer it, hammer it, because I also want them, you know, I don't want them to remember a negative thing about Kansas State. I want to use it as motivation, but not to hurt their confidence. So how do you defend Aoka Lee? Well, I mean, I think that we're pretty quick, and, and I think that is a strength of, of ours over her. Uh, but, yeah, she's a, a tremendous player. I mean, she has the NCAA record for most points scored in a game at 61. Um, that's amazing. So we can't let her have 61 in Carver for sure. Does she look like she's regained her mobility from, from two years ago? Does she look like she did two years ago? I would say not completely. Um, but, I, you know, Jeff would probably able to answer that a lot better than I could. But I don't know that, in my opinion, she has. <clears throat> Within this, you know, tough start to the season, there's obviously been um, – 
big post challenges for your group. How much does that help accelerate their growth even more, you know, getting these big tests right out of the gate? Yeah, we have had, you know, good tests and we're going to continue to have, like you mentioned, Holmes and, um, you know, in the Big Ten Conference, there's several good pl uh, post players that we have to go to against. So, you know, I think this is great experience for us. And obviously, you know, if you play against somebody like an Ayoka Lee that's different than what you might see, that helps prepare you for the NCAA tournament too, where you're going to see a variety of different, you know, different t styles of play. Is there anything you're emphasizing in practice this week that maybe didn't go well last, in last year's matchup that you feel like needs to go well tomorrow? Um, you know, I, I really feel like last year they drew so many fouls. You know, Gregory drew 13 fouls on us, and that was a huge difference. She had 24 points against us, um, you know, and not letting her, you know, have that opportunity to draw fouls and put people on the bench. Um, to me, that was, you know, that that's critical. Um, and to keep pushing on them. I think we slowed it down a little bit too early last year, and that's my fault. Through three games, Caitlin's got 27 assists and four turnovers. Um, how how, how tickled are you with that? I that's mean, remarkable. I did not know that, Jeff. Um, that is a remarkable statistic. Um, wow. She's showing. Has she taken, you know, has she gone to another level with, with that as far as her uh, – you know, where she's going with the ball, um, just judgment, anything like that? Yeah, I hope so. It's something that we talked about in the last season is that that's an area. You know, you're always trying to find areas you can improve, even if you're the national player of the year. You want to find areas to improve. And that was one of the areas that we thought she could make a little bit of improvement on. And, you know, it's early, so you, you never know. And sometimes turnovers comes in bunches. Um, but uh, certainly, you know, against some pretty good competition and in good hostile environments, she's, she's been able to – you know, handle it. That's a remarkable statistic. I know this team has obviously plenty of experience handling success and when it comes during the season and all that. But um, after an eventful first week for a lot of good reasons, um, how strong is this team's ability to take things in stride and enjoy them but know that there's bigger things up ahead? I think really good. I think our, our team does a really good job of enjoying a win and not dwelling on it. Um, and, you know, fortunately we haven't had to go the other way yet this year, but, you know, I'm hoping that they'll bounce back, you know, when we have a loss too. Um, you have to approach it the same way every time, and I think that they're mature enough and they do that. What, what makes Sid a, a good rebounder for her size? Who said? Yeah. She's got a tenacity. It's kind of like Kasheen Alexander. I don't know, you, you remember Kasheen. She was, I think, the best rebounding guard in the country, you know, when she played for us. Um, but Sid's kind of the same way. She just has that tenacity that I'm going to go get the ball. And uh, it, it sounds so easy, but it really is a mindset, um, an aggressive mindset to go get it. Did you see that in, uh, when you were recruiting her? We like that about Sid. I mean, Sid was just somebody that she's not afraid to be physical. Uh, she'll do the dirty work when it needs to be done. Um, you know, but she's also a, obviously a skilled basketball player. Kansas State liked to shoot a lot of three-pointers last year. Mm -hmm. um, not necessarily the highest percentage of makes, but last year they had, I think that one girl that made six of ten, she hadn't been shooting well. They're 10 of 40 to start this season. Is it the same kind of, you know, message that, hey, like, they weren't shooting it well last year, but they had someone do the same thing. We've got to yeah. you know, defend it anyway. Yeah, I mean, they had, and I can't remember her name right now, the center that came in and made six uh, threes, and it was her best game of the entire year. Um, as far as outside shooting. And so, you know, sometimes those things happen to you. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you always have to be ready for that. Um, make game adjustments when it's happening to you. Uh, but she certainly hurt us last year with her threes. I know there's no way to predict this, but given how much of a, a target is on your guys' back, do you expect to have more situations like that this year where somebody, you know, isn't necessarily playing well, but then they come in against you guys and – put on a show or, or something like that? I think that can happen anytime uh, with any team, regardless of what your ranking is. I just, you know, especially early in the season, right? Nobody knows what they've done over the summer. Nobody knows the work that they've put in and what how they've changed their game. And so I think, you know, the non-conference season really has a lot of those kind of surprises because, you know, nobody really knows what to expect. How excited are you to get back into <clears throat> Carver after an away stretch? Yeah, it's just fun to play in Carver. I mean, 
first of all, you don't have to travel, which is really nice. And we got we got home at two thirty in the morning after the Virginia Tech game, and so you know that can be draining on you. And so I'm I'm glad you know to play in Carver, especially having to play Drake again the following you know the Sunday. Um, but you know just to play in front of our fans. It, it's so fun to come out into Carver and to see the, the excitement and the joy that we're bringing to this group of fans. So that's uh, pretty special. Do you think there will be a pretty good atmosphere, especially for the Drake game, considering it's in-state? I think both of these games will have good atmosphere. I think you know everybody has respect for Kansas State, again, receiving po votes in both polls from the Big 12 Conference. We lost to them last year. Um, and then Drake, of course, in-state rival, just beat Iowa State. Uh, very experienced basketball team. So I think we're going to have good atmosphere for both of these games. Hannah Stolke is leading the team in, in points per minute, if that's something that sounds important, I guess. Um, but she hasn't, she hasn't really been on the floor a lot the last two games. I think eight fouls in the last two games. How important is it for her to, to kind of clean that up? Because when she's on, I mean, she had 16 points in like 11 minutes on Sunday. Yeah. Oops, somebody's got a call coming in. Um, <laughs> it's like in class when that happens to you, right? Um, no, it's okay. So, um, yeah, I mean, Hannah had a, had a little bit of foul trouble, and obviously she would have played more had we needed her to play more in the UNI game, but at that point, I, I just didn't feel like in the fourth quarter we needed to use her. Um, might as well save her and that sort of thing. So, yeah, she needs to stay out of foul trouble. I, I'm mean, telling you, Virginia Tech, though, her last foul for sure was, I, I thought it was on Caitlin for sure. And, uh, you know, maybe Caitlin needed to stick her hand up in the air and claim it, but uh, it, I, I don't even know where that one came from. Just preliminary um, scouting on, on Drake. Uh, mm -hmm. you, know, what, uh, you, know, you probably haven't seen a lot on him yet, but uh, just from what you have seen, what, uh, what do you see? Yeah, I mean, you know, Grace Burr, she's been around, what, six years and is now um, somebody we know pretty well, experienced post player, um, agile, athletic, um, very different than Ioka Lee that we're playing this weekend or this week. Um, but yeah, I know they had a really good shooting performance from one of their players that typically hadn't. So there's an, an example of that, Dargan, like where somebody steps up that you kind of hadn't expected. They weren't doing that last year. I, I haven't seen them play yet, um, but I, obviously anytime you beat Iowa State, it's going to really open up everybody's eyes to how good this team is. I think Caitlin played 31 minutes against you and I coming off of 40 against Virginia Tech. How important, you know, obviously knowing if it's going to be a close game, she's going to be on the floor, but how important is it to kind of get those little breaks here and there for her, knowing that, you know, she's going to be, have a lot on her plate the whole way? Yeah, I mean, but that's why she wants it. You know, that's the way she wants, she wants to be on the floor. I think she gets antsy when she's on the bench, even if she knows it's for a well-deserved rest. Um, but. Um, we're, we have to give her those those times when we can. Some games we're not going to be able to. I mean, she's valuable, obviously, to have on the floor. We need to have her on the floor. Um, she'll be there in every pressure moment that we have. Uh, but when we can give her a rest, we're certainly going to try to do that. You say she gets antsy on the bench. Does she, <laughs> she ever say, hey, get me in, get me in, I, I need to be in there? Or... She probably does. I don't listen to it. I try to block her out sometimes. It's like the horse with the, you know, what are those called on? Uh, blinders on. Shaking her hand at, at, at some point in you and I, and she came out and the trainer looked at her and, and she went back into the game and it she just told banged me, it against something. She told me just the stinger. Is that a football term? Yeah. Her brother played football, so maybe that's where she gets that. She probably, she played football, so yeah, <laughs> she had a stinger. So it's such a big player on tomorrow night, I guess. Um, and Hannah's starting to stretch the floor a little bit. Is that going to be important with her quicker first step, driving to the rim, getting around a big player? Absolutely, I think so. What have you seen from Hannah? I mean, obviously, I said that she's been, she hasn't played a lot of minutes the last couple of games, but when she has been putting a lot of points on the board in, in a short span, is that just kind of what she does? She goes out there and, and creates a spark offensively? I, I just think Hannah is such a good player, and, you know, um, she's different than Monica, but but she reminds me of Nas Hillman a lot from Michigan because um, she can rebound so well. She's got great speed, probably quicker than Nas even. Um, I, I just love her game. I love to watch her play. And um, I just think we're going to see an incredible season from Hannah in every regard. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Appreciate you guys. It.